Alright guys, as promised, uh, I'm coming at you with another video here. Now it's pretty late. Um, it's 2.50 in the morning and I am still working on my lights. Um, I've been repairing a channel 3 issue that Orphic has been having with burning out the diodes um, at a certain energy level. Uh, so. I'm gonna make a video here on how to uh, repair uh, the channel three if it has burned out on you or not. Um, the diodes that they're having uh, problems with are the 410, 420, and 380 nanometers. Um, I just fixed two lights prior to this and one was 410, one was 420, so it doesn't seem to be any particular number you're having problems with, but just those spectrums in that uh, channel, channel three. So what you're going to need for this is a soldering iron, a uh, electrical wire to test uh, the diode, which diode is broken, um, some thermal paste, uh, some electrical solder, uh, you know, flathead uh, to kind of jostle off that uh, diode off of the, the um, off of the panel, and then also a hammer and uh you know and then some patience so right now uh what i have uh done is un unscrewed you know these screws uh and what i'm about to do is unscrew these screws from the front side so after that i'll be able to take these layers apart here one two three and then i'll be able to see the diodes okay so i'll check back when that happens thanks All right guys, so I have uh, removed the front acrylic panels here. Top layer, second layer, third layer. Now I'm down at the uh, electrical panel here. Uh, I have removed the lenses for the channel three diodes that actually I just memorized the pattern in my head. Um, so, cause I just did two lights before, that's actually pretty simple. It just skips every other one here. Three in a row. This is actually channel two. Uh, channel 4, I'm sorry, um, but it is that wavelength that we're concerned about. So all the all the diodes are labeled with the wavelength that they are supposed to uh, have the uh, f f for their respective uh, LED diodes. So um, now that we have done this, uh, I'm going to plug the light in and uh, I'm going to test which one of these is burnt out by basically taking a wire and skipping the diodes one by one. It takes about two minutes to find out which one, not even, you know, to find out which one's not working. So uh, I'm gonna turn that back on and I'll check back, okay? Okay, as promised, I'm back right now. So we're gonna be testing these one by one right here. Got that one, next. I'm gonna do this with my right hand. I'll hold them like this. Just going one by one and figuring it out. Once the we find the right one, the board will light up. And we have found it. So it is this one over here. Okay, let's look at the number. It is actually 410. So it's the same diode in the exact same position as one of the other V4s that I just fixed. So I'm going to pop this guy off right now. Um, so I'm going to show you. I'm not, I'm not going to show you how I do it. I'm just going to um, demonstrate how I'm going to do it off camera here. So what I do is get a flathead screwdriver, all right? And I angle it in right underneath the diode there. And then I'm gonna tap on the back of the uh, screwdriver, okay? All right, so I removed the LED with little to no hassle. Uh, I'm gonna apply the thermal paste now. You just need a little dabble, do ya? So let me apply that. And I'm talking little, all right? So 
So we got this right here. All right, let me see if I can do this. I'm kind of doing everything here. And Could even get away with less than that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we grab the 410 nanometer. Each LED is positive and negative, so we need to flip it back and forth because it's got one positive and one negative side, if you can see that. All right, so we're gonna have to flip that back and forth until the board lights up, okay? So we guessed right the first time, you know, 50% chance. All right, so now we're, I'm gonna turn the board off and I'm gonna solder it, all right? And I'll check back with you when uh, I get that all set up. Alright guys, we are back. Um, I got you focused in here on the problem diode um, that we are having issues with. Now, if this is your first time soldering, um, like it is for me, uh, there's a little electrical ports on the left and right hand side, you know, positive and negative. Um, they're actually labeled, so you don't actually have to guess. Um, which side is which. Uh, but anyways, let's get to it. Um, just a reminder, um, solder does have lead in it, so you should wash your hands uh, after you're done using this stuff, okay? So what you really wanna do is just, you know, basically glue with metal this diode down to that metal uh, base of the LED panel. So I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna put it one second, my battery is one, one second. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna put this metal right kind of uh, next to it, you know, a little bit medial to this little port here, and then I'm gonna touch the tip of the soldering uh, iron to the tip of the solder. pretty happy with that for a beginner you know it's probably actually pretty crappy you know but um, it's probably uh, from my limited experience looks like that's a good good uh, good solder so let's leave that for now I might clean it up in just a minute I don't really like it when it has the tip like that I want to kind of flatten it out so it fits inside of the lens you know so I'm gonna melt this a little bit more here. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now, we need to test the light, you know, make sure that it works. Um, and uh, then we'll put the lenses back on. Okay, I'll check back. All right, guys, I got the lights hung back up. Uh, I can't tell you how much I've missed this channel. This channel makes the corals look so psychedelic, man. It's crazy. Anyways, it's late, so forgive the way that the corals look right now. They don't look their best. They're all sleeping, you know. Um, but anyway, some tips for um, for this process uh, that I learned. Uh, you know. Um, Try not to touch the plastic, uh, like the acrylic, as much uh, when you're taking it apart. And try not to touch uh, the lenses uh, with your greasy fingers because you're, you're going to be wiping those up when you're putting those back down uh, later after the first one. Um, the next two I didn't touch them, so I didn't have to clean them. Um, this guy's sleeping right now. Beautiful fish. Uh, let's see what else, um, I know I'm forgetting stuff right now, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, uh, let me see, you 
know, I, I, I took the diodes off with a hammer and a screwdriver and that wasn't uh, all that hard. Uh, opening up these lights uh, is really simple and, and, and inside they're, they're, they're really simple as well. So working with them is uh, extremely easy. For me, uh, it was really just more about dismounting them from my canopy uh, and dismounting this light over here. Um, and having to remount them, that was really more of a pain uh, than actually fixing them. Actually fixing the light only took me about 10 to 20 minutes per light. So, uh, with that being said, I hope uh, this was helpful. And um, I, I will say that uh, the lights have been running without that channel for, you know, four or five months. My corals have been growing phenomenally um, still, so I am not... Uh, dismayed at all. I love this light company and I love that they're always trying to improve. They're always listening uh, to their customers um, and they were a great amount of help in uh, helping me fix this uh, what seemed to be a daunting problem but actually ended up being a very easy fix. Uh, and I'm still on, 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 the, on the bandwagon with the Orfix. I'm still loving the growth and I'm still loving the look. Uh, I've been missing the pop that this extra UV gives, and I'm happy to have it back. So I hope this uh, little video was helpful. Oh, this graphic is done, so. And so I hope this video was helpful, and um, you know, I will see you guys next time. All right, guys.